Now I'm pretty certain that the concept of stampables has been around for some time, but we've not only made it easy, but we've also made it affordable. You don't have to buy any punches. Uh, it would save you a lot of time because your cutting machine will actually create the little template or the little backing for the actual stamp. So in this video, I'm gonna answer the question, what is a stampable? Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to Pumpkin Patch Stamps, okay? Now, Pumpkin Patch Stamps is our stamp line, and you'll see here on the left-hand side, you have the stamps, and then you also have the free stampables. Now, if you look at them side by side, you'll see that the stampables, you can tell that they're stampables because it says stampables SVG collection, and you'll notice that the product image has a little SVG symbol on the upper left-hand corner, and you'll also notice that the actual product image looks like there's like a gray backing behind the stamp. So just as an example, we're gonna click on Harvest Gathering. So take a look at some of the examples that we have for this specific collection. Now, with this download, you see here that the price is zero. Now obviously, we're not giving away the actual stamps. What we are giving you are the free files that will basically fit our stamps perfectly. So what we're gonna do is basically add that to our cart Okay, and I'm gonna head over to the one that we're gonna be discussing or demonstrating today, and that one is in our Christmas section. And it's called Holiday Traditions, but we need to go under the Free Stampables section. Okay, so here's Holiday Traditions. I'm gonna add it to my cart. Okay, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and click on Checkout. So let's just take a look in the shopping cart right now. You see that you have the Holiday Traditions Stampables SVG collection. Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna check out, you're not gonna to need to pay for the stampables because they're free. Now you wanna download the stampables if you have the stamps. If you don't have the stamps, you can find them under the Christmas section. The stampables and the actual stamps will have the same names, except the stampables will be called Stampables SVG Collections. So basically what happens is you go through the checkout process and once you finalize your checkout, you'll get an email with a link to the download for this SVG collection. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Okay, so once you complete your order, you'll get an email, and in the email, you'll see your order content, and with each SVG stampable collection that you download, there'll be a link that you can click on to download the collection, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on Holiday Traditions, okay, and it's gonna come up and ask you if you wanna open or save, and just like any of our free or paid SVG collections, you're gonna hit save, and we're gonna pop it on the desktop, and we're gonna hit save. So now here's the download. Mine might look a little bit different than yours because I'm using a program called WinRAR that helps me unzip my zip files. Yours might look a little different, but basically you're gonna extract the files just like you do with our SVG files. And you'll have a folder, okay? And in that folder, you'll see that you have uh, just a preview of what the actual stamps look like, it also comes with a menu that shows you how wide to size all of these stampables, okay? Now, if you're running the latest version of Surecuts a lot, when you import these files, you won't even need to size them because we've already done that for you. So all you need to do is import the files and cut them, okay? So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do next. So I've got Sure Cuts A Lot 3 open here, and today we're using the Boss Cut Gazelle to cut out my stampables. And just like you're used to with our SVG files, you're gonna click the Import SVG button, and we're gonna locate the Holiday Tradition Stampables, which they're right here. Okay, and here's the SVG files. And now if you look in the preview box here on the right, you'll see those are the actual stampables. So we're gonna do from the Jolly Craft Studio of, okay, and we import it, open it up, and then just place it on our mat just like we would any other shape. Now, I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut out all the shapes. So add whatever stampables you want to your mat, hit cut, and we'll show you how everything goes together. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and load the mat here. Today I'm using a Boss Cut Gazelle, and I'm not using the mat that it came with, but it really doesn't matter. It seems to work okay for me. I'm gonna adjust the speed and increase the force a little bit. Head over to Sure Cuts a lot, and we're going to start cutting. 
And as you can see, the boss cut works with Shortcuts a Lot 3, and it's cutting out all of the stampables that I placed on the mat. So in just a few moments here, we're going to have stampables for all the stamps. And I'm going to show you exactly how it works, and I will demonstrate one of the stamps. So why did we develop these stampables? Well, we felt that it would give your stamps a little bit more dimension and a little bit more life. You know, now you have these perfect cutouts that fit your stamps. You can pop dot them, put them on a card or any of your paper projects, and really make them stand out. So here's our From the Jolly Craft Studio of Stamp. I'm just putting my ink on it. And as you can see, there is the stampable. I'm gonna make sure that it's nice and centered and push down and give it even force and then hopefully it'll look really nice and there it is we'll just peel it off and it's ready for your paper project